Howdy, I'm Matthew. And I'm Samson. And today, it's time for Trebuchet Tuesday. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, I think that brace is going to be a problem. Because of the whole Google fiasco and my whole having to change channels and all that, um, someone gave me the idea of flinging a lemon. I don't have any lemons, however I do have some aging grapefruit that I was about ready to throw away anyways. So I'm going to strap this puppy onto that piece of twine laying over there and guess what? We're taking this trebuchet outside for a test fling. And it's a gorgeous day outside. It's like 40 mile an hour winds and only snowing once in a while. Three, so two, one. Perfect weather. I think I could use some more weight. <laughs> Blade's too dull on that, so I'm not going to use it. Well, 
And I've forgotten how big the trebuchet is. It just seems so small. And then I tried to wheel it into the shop and I had the arm up and I almost hit the top of the frame for the garage door up there. I completely forgot. Oof, so that that arm then is 13 feet in the air because that's how big the big garage door is. It's a 13 foot opening. It's on the shaft. Pipe goes on it. Flange. There we go. And that is the start of my winch. I'm gonna start there, see how that works. not the thing you fling, it's the fling itself. There's a lot of meaning to those words. You know, when I heard it on Northern Exposure, I didn't really think much about it. It's very similar to saying, it's not the destination, it's the journey. As this project has gone on, those words have really become more powerful, contain a lot more meaning for me. You know, that arc from when you leave the trebuchet until you hit the ground hard is a very, very short ride. But that's what it's all about. That time you're in the air, the fling, that's where you live. <laughs>